the alcoholic takes over at some point in the evening, just like the ape did. And don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those like lecturing alcoholics that likes to wreck everybody's good time. Ooh, the evils of drugs and alcohol. No, if you can handle your buzz, rock on. I love watching people drink now that I can. It's like being a married guy at a strip bar. I'm whipping dollar bills going, come on, just drink it slow at first. <laughs> Yeah, that alcoholic will take over at some point in the evening, just like the ape did when you were pissed, right? After the fourth or fifth drink, the thinking person has got shit to do tomorrow. It's like, I'm out! <laughs> and the alcoholic gets the keys. We're going to Wisconsin! <laughs> right? That was our big battle cry for years, wasn't it? Yeah, we were only open till then. One, they were open till two. <laughs> they are only a half hour away from downtown. I could do that math, drunk. <laughs> Let's call for alcohol. Come on, we're going to Hudson. Get more fuckered upper. <laughs> say you're born an alcoholic. I don't know if that's true, but you watch a bunch of little kids that are playing together at a family gathering out in the front yard. One of them starts the party, doesn't he? Hey, you guys, let's spin. Yay! Yeah. All of them start spinning with them, get their little toddler buzz on, having a good time. They bump into each other, fall down. Most of them get back up with that little buzz, carry it back to their parents. <laughs> Not the one that started it, or is he? He's still out in front. Where are you guys going? We're spinning, aren't we? Come on. We've got a whole other direction to go. Where are you going? since I was dizzy. It's not always easy. I had a tough day today. I thought about it. I went... And I went to the meeting. That's the thing. I went to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I was just going to do the show Drive Home. After the show, I started drinking. The night gets hazier and hazier. The alcoholic apparently took over because I woke up in a hotel room. I don't remember checking in too wet from here to here. Oh, happy day! Proud moment of your life right there. That is a glamorous part of drinking that the beer commercials never covered, did they? Never heard that Budweiser Real Men of Genius commercial on the radio, did you? I'm still waiting for that one to come out. Real Men of Genius. Today we salute drunk and lose control of your bladder guy. Mr. Drunk and lose control of your bladder guy. You went to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, with no intention of spending the night. Gonna drive home after the gig. Then after the show, you started drinking something called flaming basketballs, shots of Cuervo, other people's beer. You even drank the match shot off the bar. Dignity is overrated. You followed a college girl you never had a chance with to every bar in town. Using clever pickup lines like, come here often, and you get better looking with every beer. You're a creepy stalker. <laughs> then you checked into a hotel room, wrote a rubber check, and woke up the next morning wet from the nipples to the knees. Here's to you, Mr. Wake Up In Your Own Piss Guy. Mr. Wake Up In Your Own Piss Guy. 